not your mistake. But if you will die poor, it's your mistake. Assalamu alaikum and greetings to everyone. My name is Shazi Anjum. The topic that I have chosen for today is addressing poverty, a global challenge. Well, poverty is a situation in which people are not able to fulfill their basic need. Clothes, food to eat, shelter to live, clothes to wear, clean water to drink, etc. Poverty is not a person a specific problem, but it is a global problem, which is still prevailing after independence, after having many democratic countries, after many rules, regulations, laws, organization, etc. So what is the problem there? Why this is happening that the poor is becoming poorer to beggars and the rich is becoming richer to millionaires and billionaires? Why there is such inequality? Some data says that poverty has been declined, but still it is a great challenge for many of the countries. Poverty is not a natural calamity like earthquake that it just happens, but rather it is a result of unfair laws and inequality. We talk about the growth, we talk about the development, we talk about the modernization, we talk about the urbanization, we talk about the success, the technology, the advancement. But where are we in this modern world? Where 28 million people were affected by hunger in 2021. Malnutrition is highest among the 20% residents in most countries in the same world where people are busy in throwing parties and missing food. In the underdeveloped countries, 99% people are malnourished in the same world where people are busy in preparing new dishes every new day. 10,000 children die daily. 10,000 children die daily from the chronic pollution in the same world where millionaires and billionaires live. According to World Bank, 719 million people live in extremely poverty line or less than $2.15 a day in the same world where people are busy in stocking buildings after buildings. These increasing inequality is very devastating for the whole world. Government provides reservations to some community, but this strategy is limited and not helping the whole world. Government can establish many schools, colleges, hospitals, which is the income from the wealthy people, but they are also corrupt. So, we need to deeply think of the matter which is happening in many of the poor countries like Syria, Somalia, Liberia, uh, Burundi, etc. If we talk about India, instead of having that much corruption, such irregular governments and their promises, it is still a growing country. Then think of the world without corruption and fake promises. We must do something that we can eliminate global poverty. So there are some steps which uh, government must take, uh, like if there will be economic growth, if there will be investment in human resource, if human being is capable, if there will be quality education in schools and colleges, if there will be good public health centers, if there will be less inequality on any basis, if there will be almost no corruption. If there will be media support, because you know media plays a very important role in shaping people's minds. And also UN is running 17 SDGs program under which it comes zero poverty and assurance of no hunger deaths. So these were some steps which government must take. Rather, we must step, take a step ahead individually and in groups so that we can be helping us for the society and the world. Uh, you think uh, that one person cannot do Yes, it is the fact that a person cannot change the whole world, but we are the one who can bring his struggles of his minds on many faces. If it's still the thing we cannot do, then think. The God is one and is running the whole universe. The earth, the sun, everything. There is one leader who changes the whole scenario. There was one Gandhi who is still not today to change the status of the whole India. So, we must take some steps ahead. We must feel the pain of the poor when we are going to school, having bag on our backs, and the poor is having bricks on their backs to have food for the day. When we are eating more than three times, and they do not get food for more than one time. When we must feel the pain of a mother whose child is dying in front of her out of hunger. This is a very serious issue. So we must, uh, we are investing our money in alcohol, in drugs, everything, in smoking. And the poor is dying out of milk. This is a serious issue. So we must take some steps individually and in groups so that we can be helping and for the society and for the world. I sum up my speech with a message that.
We must teach our children how to eradicate poverty rather than teaching how to live in poverty. Thank you everyone for having me.